All right, guys, welcome back to the coffee bar. Today, we're not talking about coffee, we're talking about whiskey. All right, guys, welcome back to the bar, coffee bar. It was coffee bar. It's still a coffee bar, but whiskey bar. We're redoing the coffee. We are redoing the coffee bar to show a little more whiskey. I'm going to do a review today of three whiskeys. A disclaimer right from the start. I know nothing about whiskey. Zero. No one knows less about whiskey than I do. But when you got good friends, they help. Good buddy of mine, as you know, I mentioned him before in the videos, James Kitzel. The guy's a whiskey genius, barbecue genius. I mean, the guy could cook a car. So, James in the past has sent me three whiskeys in these nice little brown bottles. So, James sent me down three more bottles. What's going to be unique about this review is, I've had these for a while. I'm going to say a few months. They're numbered four, five, and six. Because like I said, he's already given me one, two, and three. I lost the text message that tells me what these are. So, how are we going to do this? I'm going to sample all three. I'm going to tell you what I'm tasting, what I'm smelling. James, buddy, here's where you come in. And I hope you remember. You're going to have to leave a comment down below telling everyone what they are and whether I was close or not close. Whew. I hope you still know what's what. James number four, five, and six. You're a smart guy. I'm pretty sure you know. All right. Let's see what we got. Got my fancy glass. Well, two of my three fancy glasses. Um... Northern Whiskey Glass. That's these ones here. I love these glasses. Don't have any Glen Cairns yet, but they're coming. All right. We're going to start off with number four. Number five. Maybe not number six. James, Jesus. Holy Jesus, James. Oh. Hang on. I guess James' wife put that one on because there ain't no way he did that. There we go. All right. Four or five. Four, five, six. Hmm. Very sweet, sweet smell to that one. Not very strong alcohol smell, but very sweet. Okay, that one is sweet as well, but a little stronger on the alcohol. That one has a little more of a paint thinner smell. That's, that's the wrong term, I know. Medicinal? Definitely not as sweet as these two here. Let's see what we got. Oh. I like that. To be honest, I'm not quite sure what I'm tasting. We're going to go on to number five. Okay, this one too was sweet. I 
I don't know if I'm tasting a bit of mint. This one here tastes like candy. Complete different taste than this one here. The smell is similar, but this one tastes more like candy. And I don't know if I taste mint, vanilla. You have to help me out there, James. Number six. I gotta get a matching glass. I know. I don't smell the sweetness that I smelt in these ones here. Let's see. I'm going to say the alcohol content in this one here is much, much higher than these two. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm liking number four. Smells and tastes like a candy. Almost guarantee the alcohol content in number six, like I said, is way higher than the five and the four. James, you're going to have to help me out on that one there, buddy. Again, I am as new as they get. So, James... You're up, buddy. I need you to put a comment down below, James, as to what number four, five, and six are. Uh, the ABVs for those, and maybe some of the notes that go with them. And I'm going to pin your comment to the top. But again, I'm going to go with, that one is very sweet, tastes like candy. That one is very sweet on the nose as well. Try that again. It tastes very good, but I don't know what, I'm not sure what I'm tasting there. Number six, you can really taste and smell the alcohol in this, but it's still smooth to drink. These are all smooth whiskeys to drink. Anyway, James, you're up. Like I said, down below. Folks, this is about the un most unscientific whiskey review you're going to get. Anyway, welcome to the new bar. We've got a couple new pictures going up. We've got some other things going up. That coffee sign may be swapped up for a light up whiskey sign soon. A little change. Time for a change. Anyway, that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed the whiskey review. Leave your comments down below. Actually, folks, when James leaves his, leave your comments down below as to whether you've had this whiskey or not and what you thought of that whiskey as well. And uh, it won't be so long to get around to the next three that James sends me. That's if he sends me any more. Jeez, I've had these for months. Anyway, that's all I got. We'll see you on the next review. Later. Number four. Oh, Jesus, James. Oh. Hang on. I guess James's wife put that one on to bring it like you did that.